what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting delighting and much interesting video here on the channel this one is the story of davido although he came out from a wealthy family who grew up in the united states with his father after the death of his mother he moved down to nigeria had a beautiful life with the father you know everybody knows the story that he actually gave the family a whole lot of trouble until he became the superstar of our time one of the best out of nigeria and one of the best out of africa and one of the leading actors in afro beat worldwide anyway he has his story to tell and he shared it with um the conversation on um this particular platform with ubi franklin called the conversation the highlight is what i'll be bringing to you here so if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe drop a comment in the comment section enjoy the full highlight let's leave your thoughts with us in the comment section i just want to tidy one or two things then they were like come now that they are the old the always be there for me so then they left of course they left to um what is it called they left to LA. Yeah. I didn't go to LA because I had to figure out, you know, the car situation. I had to just figure out every everything that was going on. So me and B Red, they left me and B Red dropped them in the airport. So guess what? So me and B Red are driving back from the airport. We just get to the house, we just see police outside the house. <laughs> outside Pops' house, or more. We just reversed. I said, fuck, what are we going to do? Um, the only thing to do at that time, brother, was to try because um everything was in that house. All the money I'd saved was in that house. So I couldn't even everything was in the house, my passport, everything. I was like, fuck. The first thing I just thought I was like, you know what? Let's go and pick up this car first before we even hear story. We get to the Audi place. Oh David, we we we've been waiting for you. Hey, they show me the car, everything. Bro, as I'm signing the papers to pick up the car. The guy's phone just rings. Hello? Oh, Dr. Delicate. I was like, oh shit. The guy was like, oh, he's right here in front of me. I'm like, I was telling the guy. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, he's right here in front of me. Oh, I shouldn't give him the call. Okay, I should tell him to call you. I dropped the phone. Just say my daddy. Guy, if I if I had gone there ten minutes earlier. You'd have you'd have sold that car. <laughs> I already had to buy a sixty thousand dollars. Do you know how much sixty thousand dollars was in I Naira in two thousand and ten? Yeah. I was coming back chilling, bro. So they called. I didn't get the car. I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "Boy, the whole family is calling me. Like, David, what are you doing? Just go." But I was like, "Man, I've already fucked up. My old man knows. He knows I'm not in school, so it's like, but I can't go back to failure." So me and Bered were like, "Man." Went back to people, we just packed out, police left, went back to the house, got the passports. As we were leaving the house, I said, guy, so how are we going to take down now? Car, no car. But, bro, we just looked around the house, sold all the TVs. <laughs> that was our brother. That was the only thing we could do at that time. We sold all the TVs in my father's house, bro. All, like eight televisions, flat screen. Got like they would not go like took it to the point so got like 11 12k dollars and then I flew to London. No, then I flew went to Niger now in Niger, so that's why I now go to Niger. Wow, you see, David, you know, I, I'm 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 someone that's very close to you, you know, we're always hanging out in your house, and I see, I see that you are not. You are not a guy that is. Um, we have a lot. We are, we are a lot of guys that don't work with you as uh, part of your team, but we are really close to you because of how you you always allow a lot of people come around you. The kind of personality you have, which is really great. Um, when you travel, you travel with your team, a lot of people, right? Because you like to have family. Family. I know there was a time when we were traveling. You, you know now. I said, Ubi. Ubi, Ubi is not about the money. If I, my guys are not with me, I'm not coming. You yeah. So there was a time we had the jet, right? Because the jet yeah. was eight-seater. You said, Ubi, I don't mind not living here. 
if my guys are not with me, we had to we had to tell that jet guy. Remember, we were at the airport. I think we we're going to Owere, Owere to Potako, Potako to Abuja. So we had to stop. We said we're not going. You say you're you not moving if two of your guys. Now, to some people, these guys are irrelevant to them. Yeah. But to you, yeah. every member of your team is very very important to you. We know. Yeah. I know the likes of Aloma, Obama, uh, Special. Yeah. I know. You know. The funny thing is, you are one of those people that even your gate man has entered the Jets, right? Of that's course. How, my that's gate, how exciting my, it is. My, my, former, my, my former gate man now is blown, father. Father, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's good. So we stopped that. We, 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 didn't, we had to receive the money back from the, 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 the Jet company and hired a Jet that was, I think, 15-seater for us to yeah, do that. Trip. It was more expensive. But you see, you told me, Ubi, don't worry. I know that you, you paid for this. I'm going to pay the balance. You paid the balance of that money just because you wanted two people from your team to be part of that thing. That day I looked at you, I was like, this guy, what's really wrong with him? But he's the kind of person you are, and that's why I really, really like you. You know, when you call me and say, Ubi, I want this, I'm always jumping and saying, I'm going to do it because of the I kind of thing you're doing. Another thing is that, I, another thing is that like, even like growing up as a child, like all my brothers and sisters, they, they were in yeah. London and America. I was yeah. the only one with my dad. Only yeah. me and my dad in late Nigeria. Yeah. I was the only one that grew up in Nigeria out yeah. of all my siblings. You know, my, my mom died when I was 10. So it was oh, just wow. after that, it was just when my dad, like, oh, like I slept in my dad's room after my mom died for the next, like, four years. I was in my dad's room. We couldn't sleep apart. Until, like, you know, until, like, I started, I had a girlfriend and I started wanting to do late night call. <laughs> and I started sleeping in my own room. But... Um, David, I know that I know that everything you did for you to be Davido today is not what. When you look back, you are not proud of it, right? When you look yeah. back, you are not you are not proud of the fact that you you actually gave your father a lot of trouble to get to where you are. That I think I give I give him a lot of trouble, yeah, but, but like everything paid off, like you know everything saying, paid like, off, yeah. But you know, some um, people have tried this and it didn't pay off, right? Yeah, like, like, like I always say, like. I'm not calling any names, but I, we have a lot of like artists that like their parents have money as well, yeah. You know, but it didn't really work out. So it's like, yeah, you know, like you know, to me, like in the beginning stages, everybody is that is that is that is that, is that has this that has money is that has money, but then the music was just good. I feel like the music was just good, and people just kind of over time ignore the fact that he, he has money. He has so at at what point did you know that? They call me the video. At what, you know, there's a point where you know that you're still hustling. At what point yeah. do you know that ah, I'm not You know, you know that your copy. Um, there's, there's yeah. like, there's a different type, a different type of arrive day. Sometimes yeah. people say you don't arrive, then you never arrive, then you didn't yeah. go. But to me, honestly, when I was like, like, like I've stamped my name on this fucking shit, bro. Like, mm. even if I stop now. Mm. I'm a fucking legend. Like me, nobody yeah. can tell me shit. Yeah. My show Echo Hotel 2017. Mm. I think so. I was, that that, I, was at, I was at that show. I was at that show. It was a, it was a massive show. Very, very yeah. big. From, from that 2017, yeah, 2017. From that from that day. Okay. Before before Eve, right? Yeah. Things that you had dropped music and it was not picking up. You dropped music, you yeah. were not picking up. Um, can you tell us the story of how you dropped the technos? Because I know about the story. Yeah. Can you tell us the story of how you went to record Eve? Yeah. Um, if, funny enough, techno, it was a great December, funny enough. You know, like I said, you know, that's why it's good to just have a lot of records out, a lot of classics out. So, yeah. It's just like no matter how your career is good at that point, you know, people still want to see you, people still love you, you know, yeah. people still want to book you. Do you understand? Know um yeah. so that that December I didn't even have a hit per se. Um like that. 2016, December. Yeah. And then Techno was telling me, come to the house, come to the house, let's record, let's record, let's record, let's fucking record. I was like, I will come, I will come. Then one night after the club, I was drunk, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going. And we drove to Techno's house. I got to Techno's house with like 10 cars. Techno said, ah, Baba, you know, say, I love you. <laughs> but all these people don't see my house, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said, man, fuck that, man. Tech, we lit, nigga. We up in this bitch. Fuck that. I opened the door. All of us entered there. I think I'm the only person that brought out that crowd. Tech was out before. Then, <laughs> um, you know, we recorded it to Techno's room. Song didn't take 15 minutes. We chilled. We picked PS. I talked in Domi. The next day, Techno just wrote me and said, bro, bro, these are hits. Mm. I didn't, I didn't really take him serious until I, I took this trip to the president of Gabon invited me out there. So I went to Gabon and then um, I went to Gabon and then, you know, I just had time to think Oh my God, new management. And then I just decided to go with if because at the time that was like what I felt was the best I recorded. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, it's, there's something that's very good about you, Davido. And that's why we all love you is your selflessness. As at the time, you see, what Techno did by with Eve was thank you for what you did for him when he started. Yeah. So when Techno started, you were, in, you were on one of his first major songs, which is Holiday. Holiday. And, yeah. Yeah. I, and you didn't know I didn't that. Even, tell her to Techno. Yeah. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. You know, I didn't, when that song was recorded, I didn't know that it was going to be Techno's song. Okay. It was a freestyle I did in Gospel Studio in Abuja. Techno yeah. was there. Same time we did All of You for my first yeah. album. Yeah. And then um, Techno just produ produced it and fucking um, did it and sent it to me like, oh, I'm the guy in the studio. Hear this. And he was like, yo, he wants to come to Lagos shoot the video. I don't even know what drew, drew me to him. I'm like, yo, let's do it. I'll, ne I'll never have known that that this guy could later come <laughs> help me later yeah. in life. Yeah. So, see, that that's the moral of what we're that's the moral of this conversation. You see, this, um, David, I started this show because of, you know, the last time I, I, we, were, we were sitting um, outside your house where you were, uh, when you invited me to your house. That was, that was two weeks ago. Yeah, just before the, like before the year, oh, well, all this stuff. Yeah. So, we're sitting down, you know, we're having conversations. You were telling me, you know, you know, there's there just our rubbish conversations we're always having, which is really interesting because whenever you're comfortable with people, we sit down and enjoy ourselves and have conversations. You know, it's very important to understand that you've done a lot of collaborations with people that you would never have done collaborations with because yeah. you don't know what, what tomorrow is. You have yeah. your team. Your team, you carry your team. Even, I, there was a time I know that you've collected money for a show and you donated, you gave that whole money to your team. Yeah. Right? So something, I'll tell you something. There's one of your team members, right, that told me one day, he said, Ubi, and he's watching here. I can see him. He's commenting, but I'm not going to mention. He said, "Ubi, if ever a bullet comes for David Doe, I'll jump on that bullet." I asked him why. He said, "You know what? We're going for a show. This was in January." He said, "We're yeah. going for a show. Once they paid, David stood at the airport and said they should transfer all the money to me to go and use it and solve my issue." Yeah. And I said, "I said, huh? Are you serious?" He said, "Yeah. See the money. See, see, see." And I felt like, wow. And it's not. It's not. Five million, no, it's not. Now then they spend them. Um, now then they spend them. Um, you know, I don't. Ten million, fifteen million. Yeah, that's and you see, that's really, that's really good. You know, you didn't need to tell me. He came to me and said, "Ubi, Ubi, see, 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 And it was, it was really nice to, uh, to hear that. Now we know show promoters, right? We know people yeah. that. Um, we know show promoters. We know people that. Now I know for a fact that show promoters don't pay for all your squad. They don't pay, pay for everybody. So how do you manage for? How do you manage to carry most of these your people to shows? You know, I know that when you're traveling, you have a lot of people. I'm not even saying Nigeria. Outside Nigeria, you have yeah. your whole, you know, your whole team. Um, How do you, yeah. Let me, let me, let me be honest with you. Like, do you understand? Like, like I've done. Like, I'm loved to, to the to the fact that like, even like if I want to go out today and say, oh, man, I'm going down to the club. Most times, like the, the people that are even sending me drink or the club club like. Obiote, because I've overdone well, mm. and then so my boys know sometimes. Sometimes they do come to me, and I'm like, I'm on this month, so I just I want buy some stuff, like I want to rent some stuff. Mm. Not really day now, but mm. once it comes, I will let you know. Do you understand? Yeah. And do you understand? I even have some people that are like, some people still even say, ah, Obi, Obi, I don't want give us money. Do you understand? I talk behind me, I'll be like, ah, but I'm like, bro, if I give everybody money. <laughs> I won't have nothing for me. I won't have nothing for my family, my kids, and stuff like that. So, obviously, it's not every time that I'm just like, oh, take, take, take. Most times, I'm like, look, if you're around me, we'll, you know, we'll ball, we'll have fun. 
we will enjoy, we will do anything. My Mopo driver he enters the club with me when he wants. You know what I'm saying? But everybody has to kind of have a job. Okay. Do you understand? David, you don't only support you, just... you don't only support the people around you, right? Yeah. You don't you don't only support the people around you, just that that's um are around you. In December, I called you. You were abroad. Yeah. I said, David, I have opened my hotel. Oh. You said, eh, eh, okay, Ubi, um, no problem when I come back. When you got back, you asked someone to transfer um I think two million naira to me and said, I have some of my friends that are coming from America. Please yeah, give them yeah. a room to stay. And you see, when you come, and I was like, wow. And you said, no worries. You know, some, some people would think that you will come and say, Ubi, give me a free room. I don't care. And you came on your own. You looked at the rooms that they were staying. And you said, okay, no problem, Ubi, I'll support you. You know, for, for me, that alone is enough for me to every day sit down and say, Ubi is my guy, forget you know and you've done a lot of things I put a whole lot of things out of this entire conversation with the video and ubi franklin and one of the major thing i pick out of the conversation is the bond between him and his team you know like he's he he has made us understand that at every given point it's not just about making the money but you know impacting and i, could, I think a lot of you could remember when uh, ubi was telling him that he remember when he actually made a, part, a whole money for a whole show and gave it to one of his boys you know that shows love it shows commitment and make everybody feel like they are one thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe drop a comment in the comment section please share this video give us a like below